Hello folks, this is Jamil Sofa for Gunstock Reviews. We're here at C2 Tactical, our favorite indoor facility in Scottsdale, Arizona. And today we're going to start a brand new series. And we're going to name it, Why Do I Like This Blank So Much? I say blank because in this series we're going to be doing firearms, we're going to be doing accessories, we're going to be doing all sorts of things, ammunition. And I'm going to start this with a firearm. And this is the Colt King Cobra 30 inch barrel fixed sights. Okay, you, got, you guys are gonna say, but you already talked about that gun before. And yes, we did. When it first came out, we actually featured this revolver and we talked details, but honest to goodness, I think I went too fast on that review. We just glossed over everything. And I'm gonna tell you today, what are the parts that I like so much about it? Okay, first things first. The front sight has a brass bead on it. That is a winner, okay? That is fantastic. I like stainless steel fixed sights, specifically fixed sights, because honestly, I don't like adjustable sights. Even though they make a target version of the King Cobra with a four inch barrel, great revolver. I think it's great and there's, you know, really adjustable sights are awesome if you're changing loads all the time. Um, Basically, I found that most of the loads I have work with this revolver perfectly well. And, of course, there's accessories for it. Wilson Combat does make a gold bead front sight for this uh, revolver, which we will be replacing it soon. I mean, what's the difference between gold and brass? The color is pretty much the same, but brass tends to tarnish and gold does not. What features do I like about it other than that? is the fit and finish. I love the fit and finish on it, the way it locks up. Guys, you gotta, this thing locks up like nothing else. It fits perfectly well. There's no end shake to be, you know, to matter about. There's, there's no shake in the cylinder, it's tight. So I like it a lot. Um, the hammer is great. The trigger pull is pretty amazing. For a double action revolver from the factory, Single action is pretty good. Double action is pretty good too. Um, we're gonna, but one of the things we're gonna do about this revolver is that we're gonna bring it out to different people like Marty and other gunsmiths, which I am gonna keep secret for the time being. There's a gunsmith out here in Arizona that is an expert in revolvers and is very well known in the competition revolver world. We'll talk about him later. We'll bring in the revolver, we'll let him know what would he do to customize it? But for me, the only customization I'm gonna be doing at this time is changing the front sight, just because I want something that will not tarnish. Nothing wrong with this, but gold is much, much more expensive than brass. Okay, let's talk about what is it that you don't like about it. And I would say it's the finger grooves on the grips. And the bummer, and this is not Cole's problem, but I would say the rest of the world out there there's not that many people making grips for it. And that is a real bummer. Um, Hogue makes grips for this revolver, um, but I don't think that many other people do. And there's some grips that I really like out there, but they don't make them for this revolver, which is a real bummer. I'm gonna be looking into it a little more and bring you more information about it. Holster fits. Uh, I have a Galco Combat Master here that fits really, really good for it. Great fit on it. And once you put it on, of course, it'll be a little tighter once it goes around your belt. But right now, we're gonna, I'm gonna shoot it again just to remind myself how good it is. I know Marty and I have spoken about this revolver a little bit, and he told me things that he would do to make it better. And that's something that we're gonna talk about, because for me right now, the revolver works great. But I know some people like to do trigger jobs on these, but the only thing you gotta worry about a trigger job on this revolver is your primer strikes. If you lower, specifically on any revolver, you lower the trigger pull, like our friend got a competition revolver, changed the springs on it for competition, and guess what? He wasn't able to ignite um, factory ammunition with it. And today we're gonna to have some factory, we have some Federal, some Remington ammo that we're gonna shoot. We got some, the double tap Colt 38 specials in here. And these I think are Federal or Remington, I don't know. I think these are Federal. 
uh, lead uh, rounds here. So we're going to go shoot them just for fun, double action only. I know a lot of people tell me, why are you shooting a single action? Oh, I don't know. It's because it's there and it's available, so I'll shoot a single action too. So I'll do some double action, some single action. We have the gun sight target out there. Um, we have my um, Core Essentials glasses here with Hunter's HD Gold uh, monovision lenses on it. Something that we have a giveaway on, on these lenses, so you gotta check it out. And of course, the Hunter's uh, Walkers, um, excuse me, they said Hunter's Walkers uh, Racer BT Digital X. TRM um, hearing protection that has Bluetooth on them, which is pretty cool if you like to listen to your tunes where you're at the range. So let's go ahead and get some ammo going. I'll let you know what ammo I'm going to be shooting, and then we'll load the speed loaders at first, and then we'll go with the ammo directly from the box. So let's go do it. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get going here. First things first, I already got my glasses on. Like I said before, we're gonna put some, my hunt, my, I keep saying hunters. What the heck is wrong with me? Um, my walkers ears with Bluetooth. Okay. And I was mistaken. I only have federal ammunition here. The, is the 158 grain lead round nose. These are the American Eagle rounds. Um, they're going to be a little smoky because lead tends to smoke a wee bit, but I'm going to do that. This is the first time I've fired this particular revolver because the first one I had, I had borrowed. This one is mine. So I'm going to fire my revolver for the first time. I'm just going to shoot it at the uh, chest area down range. And, and also, let's talk about gripping your revolver. We've been getting a lot of comments coming from different people saying, well, I wouldn't do this. Okay, I'm gonna empty this real quick. And I'm gonna come here in front of the camera and do this. A lot of people say, well, you're a revolver shooter. Um, you shouldn't put your thumb forward. But if you notice, my thumb doesn't come anywhere close that gap. And people say, well, if you had a 460 or whatever, look, unless you have six or eight inch thumbs, you're not gonna get close to that area there. So I can actually shoot here and be completely away from that cylinder gap. And I have fired the, what's the name of that thing? Um, the Rhino revolver with a bottom barrel on it in 357 Magnum. And yeah, you get a little powder burn in your thumb. But here, I'm just gonna shoot the normal way with it, but I'm gonna have the thumb not all the way out like I would do on a semi-auto. So let's go ahead. Oh, I shot six already. Oops. Yeah, I gotta learn how to count. That's something you have to do with revolvers. You gotta learn how to count. Um, not bad for an old man with bad eyes. Let's shoot some more with it and I will give you my assessment. Trigger pull is pretty good. I'm gonna be testing with a Lyman trigger pull gauge and let you know what it is. I don't happen to have it here with me today. Not bad at all. I'm really liking the way it shoots. I happen to have the speed loader with some of the double tap Colt uh, range ammo. It has to be plated, full metal jacket ammo. I'm gonna shoot that. Probably gonna be a little smoky, less smoky, but let's see. It's hotter.
but not bad at all. I tell you what, this is the same ammo Ken Hackerthorn and I shot with a python when we did our video. Uh, I would love to have Ken with us one of these days so we can uh, talk about this revolver. So, the, so what can I say about that? Why do I like this revolver so much? I already gave you all these examples. I'm going to like it even better when I do some, maybe that, I, I don't even think I need to lower the trigger pull on it. I'm happy with it. Honestly, I'm happy. The trigger, the double action trigger in here is pretty decent. It ignited all sorts of ammo that I got here. Ignited factory federal ammo, ignited double tap ammo. Um, I don't happen to have that Remington, but I, he has ignited Hornaday. It ignites all the ammo I put through it without a problem. So guys, I think it's a great buy. If you guys find one of these, I've seen them in different places for different prices. So that's why we never list prices here in Gunstock Reviews. But check it out. I know Palmetto State Armory has them right now in stock. So check it out. So guys, like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. And like always, please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range.